Hey everybody, welcome back to the hobby bench at home here. If you've watched my last couple videos, it's been more work related stuff, but um, yeah, we're back home. And I just thought I'd show you my new toy and compare it to my other toy. This is my new toy, this Tektronics 2235. And man, I stole this thing out for like 160 bucks and it looks brand new. There's not a blemish on this thing. And I'm, I'm sure it's been used in the past, but it sure doesn't look like it. So I was going to compare that to this Siglent let you see the difference. Now this Siglent is an 1104XE four channel and it has a super phosphor display. And if you're looking to buy a scope to look at, you know, modulated AM waveforms, um, I wouldn't buy a digital scope unless it was a super phosphor display because it really does mimic what a CRT can do pretty well. So if um space is an issue then that would be a reason to get one of these you know there, there's no depth to this thing at all as compared to this tank i mean this thing is huge uh if space is an issue then that would be something to definitely consider but they are you know kind of expensive i think i paid 4.99 for that thing and uh this like i said i picked this up for 160 bucks so if you're not worried about space then this is definitely a way to go for looking at uh, AM waveforms or modulated waveforms. Um, but, you know, space is an issue. I wouldn't do anything but this, a super phosphor display. So we'll look at that today. Um, so right now I'm set up for, let's see, got this old Cobra 148 GTL here, Taiwan made, completely stock. Um, I haven't really done much with this i looked at the alignment on it i haven't recapped it yet um, but this is our test bed today and we'll dead key this on am here channel 19 and we're doing about three and a quarter watts there is that right three and a half three and a quarter watts and we're sitting at two divisions here for a dead key on the siglent and two divisions here on the tektronics and we'll go ahead and add some modulation there you go. And there's our signal. And if you look at, you know, one of the cool things about a CRT oscilloscope is the intensity difference you see between the maximum and minimum uh, amplitude points. And this signal with a super phosphor display mimics that pretty, pretty darn well. Um, so that's why I really like it. I wouldn't if I was to have to have just one scope, it would be this. And only if I could have a super phosphor display in it. That would be the only, if, if it was one scope I, I had to have and I had no room for another one, it would definitely be this. But, you know, I've got the room to play around here on the bench. So um, now I have two for the time being. And you also see we're not really running 100% modulation there. We're a little bit less. And you can see that on both of these displays. And I think it's about, I think when I check last, I think this is, is uh, adjusted to be about 95%. I think that's what I did was about 95 on it. Oh, look. I think it was 95. Let's see. Let's key it up again in the 8920. 94. All right. So, yeah. Let's put it back in the RF sampler here. And uh, I really don't like looking at, I like to fill my scope display up, so we're going to change, let's go back to a dead key here. We're going to change this to four divisions. This is how I prefer to look at it. It's about four divisions there. We'll change that to about four divisions there. And then we'll add some modulation again. Yeah, that's how I prefer looking at it. And let's go over here. Yep. Beautiful. Again, look at the intensity difference between maximum and minimum amp amplitude points. Looks just like a CRT. So, yeah. Siglent does a bang up job of mimicking that. That's for sure. I like it. And we can, uh, let's see, let's, let's look at a uh, two-tone test real quick. Let's go... We're going to set this arbitrary waveform generator up for a two-tone test. 
and we'll set this to lower sideband and then we'll key up over here and look at the tektronics first and let's adjust that there we go there's our two-tone and there's our two-tone over there again the crt or the uh the super phosphor display does a, a great job You really can't complain about it. So, yeah, I just thought I'd show the, the difference between the two displays. Um, if space is not an issue and price is, something like this is definitely what you want to want to consider. If, if space is an issue and price doesn't really matter to you, then super phosphor display all the way. So, I just thought I'd show you that. And um, that's it. So 73 is everybody, and see you next time.